Hey everybody, it's your radio pal Wes Nesman. It is literally minutes after the Supreme Court passed down their decision to allow same-sex marriage. I can't be prouder that this happened in my lifetime. Now some of you know that a while back I became an ordained reverend because I wanted to be able to perform marriages for people who were a little outside the mainstream. You know, people that the justices of the peace and the priests look down on. You know, the people that couldn't get a church wedding or couldn't get down to the city or couldn't get, you know, a marriage in front of City Hall. And I've performed dozens and dozens of marriages and I want to put this out there that I want to be your big gay pastor, your big gay reverend. And yeah, it sounds silly and everything, but I want you to know that I want to do this not just because it's a publicity stunt, not just because I can, but because it's something that I firmly believed in forever. If you are the first same-sex marriage license issued in this town, I will go anywhere in this town, any time of day, any time of night, to unite you and your partner in marriage. Anybody after that, I will of course marry you at any time over at the Freaky Tiki Tavern. I'm happy to do that at my place. And it's not just self-serving for me, it's just a matter of time. So if you need a reverend, if you need somebody to perform these services, I want you to know that I'm there for you. I'm overjoyed to do it. I'm not gonna be one of these begrudgingly people who, who are doing this only because they have to. I'm gonna do it because it's a joyous event and you deserve it. Now, for the rest of you who are objecting to this, this takes nothing away from your life. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't mean anything. It's not going to affect your second marriage to your third cousin. This is people who love each other, who now have the rights that they need to have when their partner's in the hospital or when they're, uh, even when they're dying. So congratulations. I'm glad the Supreme Court made the right decision. Now, Let's get married.